Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Eads, one of the inventors of the sous vide supreme. You know, people ask us all the time, what are the differences between a water oven, such as our sous vide supreme, or an immersion circulator, or these new hybrid units that are coming on the market now? And there are differences between them, and there are pluses and minuses for each one. So we thought we'd take just a few minutes and go over all of these types of units with you so that you can see what the differences are. So when you get ready to start sous vide cooking, you can get the unit that's gonna work the best for you. Immersion circulators have a single heating point that sits in the water and requires there to be a pump or a propeller to stir the water to maintain an even temperature throughout. With a water bath such as a sous vide supreme, the entire base is completely wrapped in a PID controlled heating element. Since this water bath is self-contained, it has a lid and insulated walls. It's designed so that the thermal convection properties of water will ensure the bath to be maintained at a consistent temperature from corner to corner, top to bottom, without the need for a circulating pump or propeller. With a water bath that operates without a motor, its operation is completely silent. When using a circulator, the noise and vibration of the pump or propeller emits a constant buzz or a hum now this is an important consideration, especially when you think that some recipes might require you to have it running for two or three days. The sous vide supreme water oven holds 11 liters of water in a deep bath that can accommodate up to 20 four ounce portions. It can also fit larger foods such as racks of ribs, legs of lamb, or a large roast. One benefit of circulators is that you can select the size of container you want to use. Now, some circulators can heat up to 20 liters of water, making it possible to cook more portions of food at once. But, and this is important, you've got to make sure not to exceed a particular circulator's manufacturer's recommendation for water base and size, because different circulators are rated differently in terms of volumes of water that they can heat, so you don't want to put too much water in and not get it heated. Self-contained water baths or water ovens have a lid to contain the steam and prevent water and heat loss during cooking. When using an immersion circulator, it's attached to an open container, leaving the water bath open to evaporation and heat loss. So apart from being less energy efficient and steaming up the kitchen, the cook must maintain and check the water often because if enough water evaporates, it might burn up the pump. A self-contained water oven has no pump or moving parts, so just empty the water and wipe the interior with a clean cloth after use. The immersion circulators all have either a pump or a propeller exposed to the water. Buildup of mineral deposits from water or food debris within the pump itself can occur, and these pumps or propellers will need to be cleaned and maintained regularly in order for the units to work properly. A hybrid circulator has a pump in the floor of the bath. The bath must be emptied and dried after each use. Because of the pump, it's actually a bit difficult to access for maintenance and cleaning. Some water ovens, such as the sous vide supreme, can pre-calibrate it around multiple temperatures within the cooking range. There is no additional calibration needed by the cook. However, some immersion circulators do require recalibration by the cook when shifting to different temperatures. You want to check with the manufacturer to be sure. The self-contained water bath systems occupy about the footprint of a bread maker or crock pot on your countertop. Now, if you have a small kitchen and don't plan to use your sous vide machine very often, then the benefit of immersion circulators is that they can be stored away pretty easily. However, when you are using it for cooking, you will need to attach it to a container and set it on plenty of countertop space. Since sous vide cooking typically spans several hours or sometimes even days, consider how this will fit into your lifestyle. A water oven, such as the sous vide supreme, is a double walled insulated water bath, which ensures a cool touch exterior while also containing steam. If you have an immersion circulator, the container you're cooking in can get very hot to the touch and can cause potential dangers if people are not careful around it. So there you have it. We've summarized the differences between the popular types of sous vide cooking devices. We hope you found this helpful in picking the right option for you to ensure that you have a device that's gonna suit your needs for years to come.